In 1970, on the occasion of Pope Paul VI's visit to Manila, the Asian bishops came together for the first time. From that meeting flowed the desire to strengthen the bonds of friendship amongst them and to provide an opportunity to define and articulate what it means to be church in Asia in the spirit of Vatican II. This then gave birth to the Federation of the Asian Bishops Conference or the FABC. The year 2020 marked the 50th anniversary of this significant moment and 2022 marks the 50th year that the Federation of the Asian Bishops Conference was officially constituted. The logo of the 50th anniversary of the FABC General Conference strives to bring forth the direction that the Church will make together as the people of Asia in the coming years. The logo attempts to affirm and celebrate the journey of the FABC over the past 50 years seen in the number 50. It attempts to create an awareness of the emerging realities and challenges confronting Asia and the Church as seen in the wave signals in the five of the 50. The cross of the FABC portrays a renewed commitment in our search for the face of Jesus in Asia. And the new pathway of service with the people of Asia is based on the scripture as the Magi went by a different way and is depicted by the anti-clockwise movement. The biblical framework of the logo flows from Matthew chapter 2 verses 1 to 12. As the FABC celebrates 50 years of its existence, it desires to follow Jesus more faithfully in our times. The Gospel passage chosen forms an integral part of the infancy narratives and grounds this desire for renewal. The wise men came to Jerusalem from the east. Where is the infant king of the Jews? We saw his star as it rose and we've come to do him homage. The general conference begins with honoring the journey and the stars that have guided our path over the past 50 years. When King Herod heard this, he was perturbed, and so was the whole of Jerusalem. This verse invites the Church of Asia to reflect on what troubles us as we dwell into the emerging realities in Asia. And falling to their knees, they did him homage. Amid the emerging realities, we need to keep our focus on the person of Christ, who leads us to steer the church through the different challenges confronting the people of Asia. They departed for their own country by another way. The challenges of Asia require the church, while remaining faithful to Christ, to find its own path. Today, as we look back at the journey of the FABC and what has transpired throughout the ages, we are strengthened in our resolve to be the face of Jesus in a broken world.